Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I am Lanolin, and we are back with episode 104 of Feed the Beast Departed. In this episode, we are going to begin our preparations. Oh, I don't have any ammo on me. Oh, God, run away. We are going to begin our preparations for the battle against the skeletal army. Oh, yeah. Because I'm not just going to summon them and stand there and let them attack me while I just kind of, like, derp around in their arena. Nah, uh-uh. Not that guy. I have yet to do that with the boss. <laughs> I'm not going to start now. So what we're going to do is we're going to gather up some of our useful equipment and tools, anything we might need, bring it on over to Precasia. I'm pretty sure it's the realm. And to find the, uh, da, da, da. I'm gonna laugh if I need to go and farm more. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we have a, we have plenty. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna head on over to Precasia and see about setting up yet another base. I guess this would this would be Echo because I think we already have Delta Base, right? Delta Base was the one over uh, Bravo Charlie. Yeah, Delta Base was way 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 down here. <laughs> I guess up here, down here. I don't remember. Regardless, way over here in the jungle biome. So, this is going to be Echo Base, except it's going to be in a different realm for the first time ever. Alright, so what's really nice about our particular realm is that. Actually, I guess I could go in there and show it off. So, anyway, what's really nice about this realm and our spawn is that we actually spawn like right next to a skeletal army spawner, which means. If we die, hopefully we can get back here quick enough uh, to not like let them despawn. I'm not 100% sure how quickly they will despawn. I don't know if like as soon as the player is gone, they instantly leave, or maybe there's a countdown timer. Not sure, not sure. But yeah, so what we're going to do this episode is uh, spend some time preparing ourselves a little base in which we can um, watch the fight from above, snipe some fools also from above since uh, we do have this fantastic sniper rifle that I haven't really used too much throughout the series. I figured this was a good time to whip it out. Now, of course, once the actual boss fight starts and all that, I'll go down there and fight him by, you know, hand to hand, all that fun stuff. But uh, for his minions and all that annoying crap, we're probably going to try to keep our distance so we don't get overwhelmed. Now, I know there are a bunch of different types of skeletal minions that we're going to have to deal with. We're also going to have to deal with interference from these guys. <laughs> Which is not going to be very fun. Uh, but yeah. The reason why I'm going through all this kind of prep work is because I only have one. I only have one ancient uh, stone or ancient tablet. I can't remember what it's called. It's like ancient something. Uh, the summon the skeletal army. So I'm just trying to make some precautions. Making sure that we don't, you know, set ourselves up for failure. Which is never a good thing. So let me take a moment and uh, do something about all these freaking enemies. I actually need to gather a bunch of cobblestone bunch of building blocks in general so I can get to work building up a little base. Man, you have made this this little area just a freaking just a shitty place to be. Alright, let's get out of here. <sighs> okay, so I'm looking around looking for stuff to grab to take with us and man, I want to take a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff with us because we're going to need an ample supply of bullets, an ample supply well, mostly of bullets. Um, I would like to take a backup armor set just in case my set breaks. I was able to repair the helm and the chest, but I can't I can't repair the legs and the boots anymore. They cost like 41 plus levels or some crazy shit. So I'm just like, okay, not going to worry about that. So I'm going to leave the enchantment table here. I've pretty much stocked up on a bunch of food, so I should be good on food for the fight. <laughs> Lots of delicious pancakes, as long as I'm not running around a bunch like a retard. Uh, but we're good on mana, I think. Yeah, I should probably fill up my mana a bit. So let me grab some coal blocks and get those going. So yeah, this episode's going to be a lot of preparations. I don't think the preparations will carry on into the next episode, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be taking over some of these barrels. Uh, all the cobblestone. Dude, fuck. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm going to be taking over all the barrels, the cobblestone, you know, the bullets, all that stuff. Um, I've got some more. Yeah, I got some limonite going, so we should... Actually, I'll get I'll worry about getting that started off camera because I want to make sure I have plenty of bullets because I think I'm going to be using the big top quite a bit. As you can see, I also went ahead and repaired him up. Um, ooh, I wonder if the ender chest would be useful at all. I don't think so. But what would probably have been nice is, uh, yeah, whatever. Get out of here. I'm trying to prep. I'm trying to prep. I don't need no bug eyes around here messing with me. What's wrong with you guys? Oh, yeah, coal blocks. That's why I ran back in there. 
Oh yeah, we're also going to take uh, the full fam too. We're going to take the Troll Basher Axe and a whole bunch of weapons, including the Blood Fury, which is still our most powerful weapon. 27 attack damage. Unfortunately, he doesn't have any effects, but that's okay. We'll also have this bad boy, the Harvester Sword. I actually was looking to, like, possibly enchant this guy. But I don't really know what else I could possibly get that's, like, useful. Ah, screw it. Bane of Arthropods 4 and Knockback 2. There you go. There you go. God, what fantastic enchants. I said no one ever. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Knockback 2, Bane of Arthropods. Harvester Sword. Holy crap. What a piece of garbage. I could not have asked for worse enchants. <laughs> what the Dude, I wish... Please. Come on, when are we going to be able to play on 1-8, dude? The 1-7 enchanting system is fucking trash, dude. I hate it. Alright, anyway. Let's butthurt more preparation. So, let me go ahead and... Am I getting slowed? And, what the hell, man? Everything's just trying to stop me, man. They know. They know I'm about to take out the skeletal army. They're trying to slow me down, slow my progress. But no! Screw you, Dicer. Get lost. Alright. So, it's food time. Let me grab some stuff, and uh, I will meet you guys probably back over in Precasia when we start actually building up our structure. So, I'll return in a moment. Oh, gee, as soon as I come through the portal, I just get, like, completely gangbanged by everything in the room. I was really hoping I was going to get, like, sharpness 6 or something crazy. Oh, my goodness. What the hell? What just completely annihilated my butthole? Holy cow. Whoa. Whoa, lag. Okay. Uh, whoops. Maybe we should not use that sword too much. What just, like, totally annihilated me, though? Oh, wow. I didn't even know you could do that. Apparently, if you put your uh, dolly with stuff in it in your knapsack, you don't have to worry about the slowness effect. <laughs> I didn't know that. Although, I guess that's kind of true for a lot of different effects in uh, modded Minecraft. Usually, if you put them in a different bag, they'll stop. Usually. Not always. Usually. Okay, so as we were, before we got booty blasted by everything in the zone... Run away, run away, run away! Dude, we're getting wrecked by this stuff. How the hell are we going to fight the skeletal army? We can't have a proper send-off for this season without a, a nice, big, crazy boss battle. And I thought the uh, skeletal army was quite fitting. Oh, these turn on. That's awesome. <laughs> How are we going to get all these freaking monsters out of here, man? I, I just don't know. Alright, let's get the building. Oh, no! Oh, God! <laughs> As soon as I'm, like, trying to build, I fall off and just get wrecked. Oh, jeez. Alright, so this is gonna be a thing. This is gonna be a thing! Oh! Get bubbled! Jeez! <laughs> Man, this is gonna be a pain. Part of it is that the uh, alacrity set's kind of a... It can be a little bit of a pain to do very fine movements with the alacrity set. Screw you, Sabretooth. Get, just get, just get annihilated. Dude, it is an in insanity down there, man. Alright, let's build this up. Oh, man. Okay, okay. My big thing is just not falling. Just don't fall, and we'll be fine. Stranglewood. Alright, maybe we'll build in between these two stranglewood trees. That sounds about right, yeah? Think we'll be safe? Dude, all these scary monsters! <laughs> Every time I do something like this, it just reminds me how much I should have uh, ventured into Thomcraft this season. But uh, maybe that's what we'll do next season. Maybe next season we'll try to dive into a new mod, a new magic mod. Uh, since I pr I've pretty much stuck to witchery and a little bit of Batania. I uh, haven't touched much of anything else, to be honest. So, might be worth checking out. I think Thomcraft honestly would have made a lot of these uh, realms, boss fights, etc., pretty trivial. And uh, same, th I, I would, I would also say uh, same thing with uh, late game Batania. Possibly. All right, so there's a nice little little bit of protection so far. I'm gonna build a roof, of course, and light this thing up. 
I guess I'll make it a short roof, a stubby roof, so I don't have to worry about... Cause I'm not sure if the skeletal endermen... I can't remember exactly if that's their name, but that's basically what they are. I don't, I don't, it didn't really say if they like will teleport to the player or not, so I'm going to go ahead and make this guy only too high. So I don't have to worry about that ish, because there is a good possibility that they probably do. Because Advent of Ascension is uh, very scary. <laughs> very, very scary indeed. Okay, there we go. Nice, nice little bit of prep done. Let's get some stuff down, eat some food if we need it. Nope. Bam. So I think uh, Dr. Destroyer is probably going to be really nice here too. Oh yeah. As long as I don't do that. Wow, why am I feeling the recoil from that? And then why did it do no damage and then no damage and then all of my health? <laughs> what? Alright, so maybe not as effective super close up. Good to know. Ow. Wait, how am I supposed to kill this guy? No range, no... Oh, that's right, I can only kill the turtles with, um... Damage over time effects, basically. Okay, so the withering cannon should actually work perfect. Yeah, get withered, son! Alright, good, good. You know, I'm just testing out my arsenal, see what works, see what doesn't work. I think this wither cannon is going to be pretty, pretty good, because it's going to bypass a lot of the irritating armor that these guys have. The large health pools, etc. No, that'll be good for very far away. As long as I don't blow up the freaking skeletal army block. Okay, so let's get our cobblestone blocks down, just in case I do end up needing them for whatever reason. Actually, you know what would be a good idea? Maybe make it a little pathway heading out. Ooh, before I get too ahead of myself, let's make sure this stuff is lit up. I know this doesn't do much for uh, the Advent of Ascension monsters, but I can at least prevent the uh, spawning of normal monsters. There we go, cool. So that's lit up. Um, I'm going to make a path going all the way across. That's going to be slow and tedious, and actually, it might be pretty fun. So, let's do it! <laughs> because they're going to sit there and they're going to follow me, staring at me while I'm doing this. <laughs> it's pretty uh, nerve-wracking. To say the least. Oh, you know what? When I summon the skeletal army, it might actually completely wreck this whole little pathway. I don't know if it'll wreck my little house or my little crappy uh, echo base we've got sitting over there. But we'll see. Uh, the next thing. Do I want to light all the rest of this up? I don't really know how much it's going to do, to be honest. I just don't want to jump down there and get wrecked. I'm scared. Get with it! Oh yeah, that's right. You have like a really, really crappy range. Okay, I got him right off the bat. Like it, like it. Does this thing say it has a little... Oh yeah, strong knockback, slow speed, applies with it. It's pretty good. That's a pretty good weapon. It's just uh, waiting for it to start killing things. <laughs> it's not really killing anything. Come on! Alright. Take that. Take that! Get exploded on! <laughs> Alright. So, I'm gonna head back to the... Realm? Home realm. Run away, run away! Because I want to get the rest of my ammo and all that stuff. So I'm going to grab all this stuff up and I will come on back. Ah, it's still a creepy day over here. You know, I've actually hung out in this world for a while. Like, just letting the days just kind of cycle through. Hoping we get the, um, the death day, day of death. Day of the dead. Whatever it may be called. And I just never got it. Never showed up. Nope, nothing. So, unfortunate. So let me gather all this stuff up and then I will come on back. Uh, I'm back in here, and of course I'm being attacked. At least it's daylight now, so I can at least see what I'm doing. Pretty nice, to say the least. So I have a few things on me, and uh, I actually didn't think to bring all of my food. But I thought of it, thankfully, so... I don't have to worry about that. Got a crafting bench as well. Go ahead and put you up right there. Actually, I can move you guys. I'm going to put you... Like, right here. 
I like putting stuff in the corners, but I have my torches in the corners, so... Never mind. Actually, uh, I'll put them right there. Screw it. Nice. I'll put one up there. Nice. Cool. So I was able to grab all of my food and I think just uh, my standard bullets. Oh, no. I got the slugs. Okay. Never mind. So still still got some work to do, but that's all right. We're getting prod... Or, I'm sorry. We're getting uh, progress slowly but surely. Dude. I wish I had a bigger inventory sometimes. <laughs> I mean, I've got all these different bags and boxes and things to help me uh, keep my inventory straight. But still, I still found myself going, you know, it'd be really nice if I had, like, another action bar or something. Maybe not an actual action bar, just one more slot of inventory space. Ah, it'd be wonderful. Let's actually dump some of our weapons in here that we aren't using at the moment. We don't need this guy on us. You know what? It might actually be a good time to finally start utilizing some of this tea. It's supposed to keep my crit chance really high, but I haven't really run into too many issues. As, well, actually, I don't even see that bar anymore, to be honest. Huh. I just noticed that that indicator's gone, actually, up there. The thing that would keep track of our, like, warmth or something, basically. It was a thing when we first started, but it's not really anything, to be honest. All right, so let's, let's toss our ancient orb in there. Oh, yeah, by the way, I went ahead and got the eye candy set up. Someone mentioned in the in the comments, they're like, just use sugar, you dumbass. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, my bad. My bad. I forgot. So how are we looking on food? All right, so I still have a few more things I need to grab, mostly just bullets, but it shouldn't take too long. So I'm just going to pop over here real quick. In case you couldn't tell, I'm not really trying to fight him this episode, so a little bit of uh, just kind of hanging out. <laughs> this episode. Um, I want to make some more. Oh, you know what I actually don't have? I need to make some more of these holly arrows just in case one of these guys is immune to like guns and shit, which uh, tends to happen a lot. I've actually noticed a lot of the Advent of Ascension bosses, like the later game Advent of Ascension bosses, are immune to guns. And I'm just like, oh, okay. Why you make all your freaking cool weapons guns and then make bosses immune to all the cool weapons? What the hell, man? <laughs> all I'm hoping for is an ammo pouch in the new update. That's all I want. That's all I want, just an ammo pouch. You can even you can call it a little ammo pouch because I've complained about it so much. <laughs> but anyway, uh, holly top seeds can just go in there with all the rest. Oh, nice. I've got a pretty decent supply of holly top petals, actually. So hopefully I have nice limites. Limite ingots. Sticks. Lots of sticks. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, not sticks. Pfft, I'm retarded. There we go. Feathers. Wow, I have a lot of feathers. I, I probably say, I'm pretty sure I say that every single time <laughs> I go and grab feathers. I'm just like, holy crap, all my feathers. Yeah, got a lot. Got a whole bunch. Okay, so I think it's about time to grab the last few things and wrap up the episode just a, just a little bit earlier than I usually do. But again, like I said, I'd like to try and fight the guy in the next episode. Man, I got a lot of stuff I need to grab still. So I'll probably grab just the, uh, the rest of the grenades. Actually, I guess I can grab some of the grenades now. <laughs> Is that even going to work? Eh, works a little bit. Can't complain. But how many stacks of those I have? I have five stacks of those. <laughs> I'm overloaded with stuff. Too much stuff, man. Just too much cool stuff. Eh, whatever. I'll leave the tea here. I've got more tea. Picked everything up? Awesome. All right, so let's get back through this portal, set everything down, and get to fighting this guy in the next episode. <laughs> oh, jeez. Get away. Oh no! I'm way down. I didn't put my pack in my in my pack. I didn't put my pack in my knapsack. The dolly in the knapsack. There we go. See, look at that. I'm already happy I made this pathway. I can just hop up there and avoid all the shenanigans. Hell yeah, dude. Right, let's get the other barrels down with the rest of our ammo and supplies. 
Grenades. Oh, I can't... I can't control shift click these guys out of here. That sucks. It's so nice. I love being able to do that. And I only need one stack of slugs. Bunch of bullets. I think we're ready, boys. I think we're ready to take on the Skeletal Army. Oh, yeah. Oh, I have my hoe on me. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. So, Skeletal Army time. Next episode. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was a little slow, but that's all right. We had needed to take a little bit of time to uh, kind of prepare for this fight. I'm not super duper crazy prepared. Like, I could do some other things, but I want to make sure the fight is at least relatively fair. But, uh, you know, I've got this little safe area up here where I can come and resupply and get my stuff. Hopefully, it doesn't all get annihilated by the Ancient Orb um, and the Skeletal Army as soon as I summon them. If they do, we are going to have some problems. <laughs> So hopefully they don't. So tune in next episode. We're going to fight these guys and uh, hopefully send off the series with a bang. So thanks for watching. Oh, geez. Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Landlin, and I will see you next time. Bye.